I'm edging up to 10 to 1. Let's talk about uh, a drug which is used to treat prostate cancer because the drug's watchdog, NICE, has ruled that a drug which is used for prostate cancer should not be available on the NHS in England and Wales because of the expense. The drug can extend the life of someone with advanced prostate cancer by around about four months. But NICE says the benefits just don't justify the cost because it costs about £3,000 a month. Let's talk to Emma Malcolm, who's the chief executive of the charity Prostate Action. Hello to you. So your response to the NICE ruling? Well, we're extremely disappointed that NICE have made this decision. Whilst we understand there's a limited amount of money available and that money has to go across all conditions, this is actually the second advanced prostate cancer drug that's been turned down in the last four months. There are very few options available for men with advanced prostate cancer, and this is just going to make life even harder for them. Uh, th this particular one we're talking about, in fact, we should name it... Um Abiraterone. I think you'll correct me if I'm if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Abiraterone. Yes. Um, and what is the the key? What are the key benefits of it? What do people tell you who contact your charity? Why do they? Uh, appreciate its benefits? So so it's been shown to not only extend quality of life, so that men often with um, advanced prostate cancer will have bone metastases, that's sites of cancer on the bone, and these are incredibly painful, but also life extension. And although NICE are looking at an average of four months, we do know of men who have been on the drug for a year, two years, who are still responding incredibly well to it. Uh, and I, I mean, it's terribly difficult because I mean, the chief executive of NICE saying we are disappointed that we can't recommend this one, but it is an expensive drug. And, and it, it's so hard, this topic, isn't it? Because every time we have a ruling like this from NICE, we come back to the fact that there is no bottomless pit of money for the NHS. It's true. So, so we know that the pharmaceutical company, although £3,000 is the quoted price, we know that Janssen Pharmaceuticals are offering it at a reduced rate too nice um, to, in order to try and make it more cost effective for the NHS. I think what we all need to do now at, as patient groups, as patients, is we need to lobby nice. We need to say, did they look at this in the most appropriate way? Have they overestimated the number of men that it would be appropriate for? We need to go back to the pharmaceutical company and say, well, look, is that the best price that you can offer it for? Can we get it cheaper? Um, men can still access abiraterone currently in England via the Cancer Drugs Fund. And we know that approximately 500 men have accessed it. But we do really need it to be available for all men, and we need to do whatever we can to make that happen. Emma Malcolm from Prostate Action, thanks very much for your time.